Hi guys, in this video I'm going to introduce you to our new Synth app, Synthmaster 1. Synthmaster 1 was pre previously available as a VSD audio units and AX plugin for Windows and Mac and finally we are so thrilled to uh, bring it to the iOS platform, uh, initially starting with the iPads. So what is Synthmaster 1? Synthmaster 1 is a, a semi-modular software synth with two oscillators, two filters, two amplitude envelopes, two mode envelopes. Then we have the uh, we have uh, two LFOs and also a vibrato LFO. We have uh, we have a routing screen. We have six insert effects. We have a powerful arpeggiator, um, which can work in different modes. It can work as a sequencer or an arpeggiator. Now. Um, Initially, in this video, I'm going to go through some of the sounds and uh, teach you how to use the built-in keyboard and also connect how to connect your MIDI uh, device to Synthmaster 1. I'm going to click on the browse button to see the presets that come with Synthmaster 1. Uh, initially, uh, it comes with 300 presets. And uh, you can filter sounds by like instrument type, or style, or author, or bank. Uh, for now, we only have the factory presets available, but hopefully uh, soon we are going to start releasing some additional banks per uh, which will be available for purchase via uh, IAP. So let's go through some of the sounds and play with them. If you'd like, you can also search sounds, but by typing here, like if I'm looking for some keys, let's search for some keys. Yeah, here we go. Uh, the, the mod wheel and pitch wheel on the keyboard uh, work as expected. of the built-in keyboard uh, the keyboard has some settings like the octaves here you see you can change the octave uh, or you can change the scale so, uh, for instance let's choose blues my C blues minor so it displays the keys uh, for C blues minor they're highlighted uh, the other keys are uh, not locked uh, you can you can still use all of the keys this is just for educational purposes click on the settings tab to see what the settings for the keyboard the keyboard for the keyboard you can set um, uh, you can um, change the behavior uh, for how the x-axis and y-axis behaves for instance for now for y-axis I see the mod wheel I'm gonna change this to velocity so um, it's gonna uh, it's gonna generate different MIDI velocities when I press the key If you press at the bottom of the key, it uh, generates the minimum velocity. At the top, it generates the maximum velocity. And for the x-axis, uh, by default, it's set to glissando, which means if I uh, hold the key and slide it, 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 it plays the other keys as well. If, if the x-axis is off, uh, glissando won't work. There is also a scroll, so you can uh, scroll while playing. There is also pitch band here. So, uh, uh, when I set pitch band, uh, please take a look at the uh, pitch band range up and down settings under audio engine. We have settings available for the current preset and also global. The global 
is set to preset, but I'm going to change this to like uh, 12 semitones for globally. So it can pitch front works like that for the keyboard. If you have a MIDI input device, um, you can just hook it up to your iPad using the camera connection kit cable. Let's do that. And here we go. Under MIDI input uh, device list, I'm now seeing complete control. So let's play with our MIDI controller now. Speaking of uh, MIDI controllers, you can you can very easily um, um, assign the knobs or sliders on your MIDI controller to parameters here on the screen. For instance, uh, for the tone um, knob here, I see an orange. I see an um, orange ring around the tone, which means that this uh, knob is actually linked to a MIDI controller. Let's see which one it is. Okay, it's CC2. I'm going to remove this for now. And now uh, let's, for instance, assign cutoff to MIDI Learn Global to a knob here. Okay, let's enable the input device. Oh, here we go. Now I enabled the cutoff and now the resonance. I'm assigning them globally, by the way. So this is not going to change from preset to preset. Let's also like assign the wavetable index here. Okay, here we go. Let's start playing. Now I'm changing the index using the MIDI controller. Using resonance. Yeah, so this is how you can uh, MIDI learn. Um, let's continue browsing through some of the other sounds here, like arpeggiators, like sequences. Okay, here we are, here are the sequences. So for the sounds that you like, uh, you can add them to your favorites list. Uh, favorites list just click on the save button here and then choose the add preset to favorites menu like this yeah let's add this one too one too. Uh, okay, so we added the presets uh, to our favorites list. Now let's load some of them from here again. At the beginning I told you that uh, Synthmaster 1 comes with 300 presets. Uh, if you go to the About tab here in Register, you will actually receive 200 more presets. And if you have a license for the desktop version of Synthmaster 1, you can actually download uh, all of the factory presets available for the desktop. Uh, right now we have 800 factory presets 
for the desktop, but that number will keep increasing. So let's register now and see how it goes. Where's the at sign? Okay, here we go. Now I'm not gonna enter a serial number for the uh, for my desktop license. I'm just gonna click on register. Okay, now you'll see a. Uh, on the header, now it says downloading. So it's it's right now downloading the factory presets actually. Okay, here we go. All of our all, all of the presets are now downloaded. Uh, Aside from um, getting 200 additional presets, if you register, uh, you will receive an email from us. Uh, uh, you will receive a coupon code, which is valid for 30 days. And with that, you can purchase all of our desktop products. Um, and thanks for listening to this introductory video. I will continue um, doing more tutorials today and publish them on our YouTube channel. Thank you.